So today I'm going to continue on with this uh, trailer backup camera tire pressure monitoring system install. Uh, I think I'm going to make it into two videos. So this will be the second part of the first video. Um, since I have the truck here, the trailer's at the storage yard. And so today I'm going to work on installing the, uh, the actual connector in accordance exactly with the instructions. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I already said the whole stick around thing and all that bullshit at the beginning. So just keep on watching. So there's the uh, new connector with the camera connector. Um, there's the instructions that I just read that says uh, disconnect the plug and then remove the, the connector right there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down, see how difficult it is to get to it, and uh, we'll go from there. So there it is. Um, as you can tell, the tire is right here. The hitch is all the way around it. So I don't think I'm going to have a good uh, spot to put the camera on. But what it's said to do is to um, push on the pin on the, the connector and pull it backwards. And then you can see the metal it says to push the metal in and it'll push right out. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to show you because I can't. There is absolutely no place to put the camera and I'm not going to remove the rear tire because that would defeat the whole purpose of uh, showing you how to do it. Well, I mean, it wouldn't, but anyways, that's how I'm gonna do it, so hang on a second. So, I've got to disconnect it, and I just had, I don't think I hit it, maybe I was pushing, but, all right, so I uh, pushed in the pin on the side, back here, well, you can't see where my finger is, but where my finger is, right there, you push that in, and then you pull it back. So that's all there is to it, Just pulling it back and then that's off. So there's disconnecting that one. Now to get the actual connector out of the bumper, you have to push on those two metal uh, items right on each side. So let me do that and then I'll show you. Okay, so that went swimmingly well. Um, it just pinches right out and there we go. So there is the connector the uh, stock one has no pin on the back here and this is the new one that's going in so looks like the whole pin rotates because the keyway is that way that's good to know so Okay, so they're slightly different, but the same. So now I got to locate this item uh, for the camera in just a second. So the instructions are indicating that it's just up there with a plug in it. So there is, I think, that's up above the bottom of the bed. And so it's up in there somewhere. That's the connector that I just removed. So let me see if I can find that. And of course, it's starting to sprinkle. Well, I lied. I took the, I put the tire down so I could get access. So here I go. So probably if you do it, you should probably just take the tire down first. Well, that's good to know. Once you take the tire down, you have excellent access to it. So right there it is. And uh, as you can tell, you also get a lot better access to uh, the, uh, the connector. So with that being said, here I go, and I'm going to. Uh, I might set up my tripod now that I got access so you can see me reinstalled. So give me a second, I'll do that. All right, so I got the camera set up so you should be able to see this a little bit better. It's sitting on the tire that I initially didn't take down, of course, because I'm lazy and I try to do it as easily as possible. Um, so now I need to get the connector right here off so that it can go into my my new connector or my yeah the trailer connector so um there we go so you just pull on this you push it in and it comes right off so there you go see how that goes 
So there you go. So there is the trailer connector. And there's the other one. So now I go and I install the, uh, the new connector. And it said to make sure that it clicks. Which I'm sure it will when I get it installed correctly. One side's in and it's now it's locked into place. And now I just have to rotate this because it rotated it. And I broke the new thing already. What in the hell? What the hell? Okay, you're seeing it here live, folks. So I don't know what I did. So I guess I need to take it back out and put this clip back on. Luckily I can. Hopefully I can. Okay, it just slides right in there. There, it's clipped back in. Push it back in. All right, that time it sounds like it's in there again. And then I take my new plug and it's connected. So that's all there is to it. Connecting the new connector on. So in the next video, I will show you me installing the wiring harness on the trailer. But uh, this part so far was pretty simple. Key to it, let your tire down. So there you have it. I've installed the connector in the truck. Just got to tidy up a little bit. Put the uh, spare tire back up in the well. Put the, uh, oh, the, the uh, handle away. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you got any questions, please put them in the uh, the link below. I mean, the comments below. And I'll put a link. Thank you, and have a great day.